All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Pirate Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started with today's video. Okay, so we're going to try to do something a little bit different on a few reviews here and see what you guys think. Um, this will kind of be the way I'm going to start off reviews for a little bit here. And you can tell me, I used to do it this way on camera, and then I stopped doing it. You can tell me what you think. Just trying to vary it up and have some fun. I won't do this every time. But I'll do it sometimes. And it's a good way for me to connect with you guys and say thank you. Uh, and in this case, I've got some thank yous to do. But there's a, a review here we're going to do. I'll start by just showing the knife. We'll talk about the knife. Uh, just some impressions and thoughts on the knife. And then we'll transition uh, to the uh, tabletop for specs and price, if, if available, and uh, comparison. Uh, now, I talked on a recent live stream because I've been concerned about staying within a certain time frame. And I'm going to like loosen that in my mind a little bit and try to have some fun recording these reviews. Hopefully I'll still keep them under like 12 minutes, but I'm not going to panic if I go over 10. And this one definitely will because I'm explaining stuff. So this is the knife that we're going to review today. This is uh, the Null Knives Raiden. Now I got to meet Sean from Null Knives at Blade Show. Cool, cool dude. And of course, we all know our buddy Andrew Hobbert. Andrew is the guy that sent this uh, raid in along for me to check out. Now, I let a lot of people tell me uh, that I wouldn't like this knife when it was coming out because a lot of people know what they think I like in a knife. And uh, it just so happened that I had several people tell me I wouldn't like this knife. Um, they said I wouldn't like the Ergos because of this kind of squared off area here uh, and that, you know, it's too small for me or whatever. Uh, I got to tell you guys, this is a fantastic knife and this particular variant is the prettiest one I've seen. So you've got an acid washed blade. You call this a drop point, of course, but you got a bit of a harpoon with a swedge all the way down. You guys let me know too how the focus issues are during this. Uh, and, you know, we'll see. But again, I'm going to show it on the table as well. Uh, you do have kind of a, uh, a raised spot on the back of the spine here that then comes down uh, to more of a sweeping, uh, you know, back of the handle. You do have uh, kind of a squared off but rounded at the same point cut out here. I like the handle. But again, back to what we were saying, it's kind of a blue gray uh, anodized titanium. You have what I believe is, um, we're going to look this up and see if I can find it when we go to the tabletop, but I believe this is Mokutai, and then you also have Mokutai Backspacer, and I'm 90% sure that's what that is. Uh, it might be Zerkuta, I don't know. And then you have the same thing on the screws and on the thumb studs. Is absolutely, to me, this light blue with this darkened acid washed blade is ridiculously beautiful. This is a gorgeous, and this clip to me is beautiful as well. Now let's talk ergos, okay? So um, my first two fingers go right in that area, and my second two fingers go right there. Um, now, I will say there is a little bit of thinness right here and a little bit where it's kind of flat. Um, and so what you end up with there is just a little bit of, you know, uh, not a hot spot, but a spot you feel on the spine there, um, on the spine, on the bottom of the handle. Uh, I just wish that was a little more chamfered. It is now, the scales are chamfered. Uh, by the way, you have this beautiful uh, kind of chamfering. You're flat here and you chamfer up and you chamfer down and this actually flares back out and I think that's what's getting it is you've got this spot where it's almost flat right here um, and if that was just rounded a little there and a little there it would be good. Now you do have your your cutout uh, for your, your, your frame lock. Uh, you do have a lock bar interface um, and a very cool looking patterned pivot there. You can see that. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, frame lock. Uh, you do have a lanyard slot in the back of the back spacer. You see that right there to right there. So you can sort of discreetly feed your lanyard up inside. I actually think that's a great design. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but it is a pretty fantastic idea. 
Um, you do not have a reversible clip. Uh, the clip does is um, titanium and sits down in the scale. Uh, is screwed in from inside the scale. Very cool. And it is not reversible. Again, minimal screws. Your backspacer does come about two-thirds of the way up. You do have some kind of jimping, uh, you know, here rough, long jimping texturing, I guess I would say, in the uh, back of the backspacer. And that backspacer is just ridiculously beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. You do have jimping up here. Your thumb studs are rounded uh, very nicely. Uh, Action-wise, boom. Uh, just a sp spectacular detent. I can middle finger flick it, so that means anybody can. Uh, very, very, I mean, just stunning. Drops to your thumb, shake it home. Easy peasy, running on bearings. Um, very nice knife made by Sean. Now, he's coming out with more. Uh, I also reviewed the Null Knives Grace. If you haven't seen my review of that, uh, just do a search on my channel for Null Knives Grace. Uh, fantastic knife. And this is really great as well. Now, the, the Grace is in production. This guy, the Raiden, uh, he has just fulfilled, I think, the pre-order, and I think he sold some. I'm not sure if there will be more or not, but we're going to go look at his, I'm going to go look at his website before we go to the tabletop and just make sure I can't find any info. We'll find out, and I will share that here in a minute. Um, as far as lockup, no lock rock, no blade play. Uh, we are locked up at about a 35 or so there. Very, very nice. I will take that. Uh, your blade is, uh, yeah, dead centered. I mean, these are fantastic. Andrew, you are the man for letting me check this out. Definitely wanted to get on camera and say that. Thank you so much for sending such an expensive and special part of your collection my way. Um, and now let's go to the tabletop and see what we can talk about there. All right, here we are at the tabletop. Also trying a little different thing here with the uh, angle. Uh, just so you can see the knife really well. You can really see that beautiful uh, striking acid wash blade. And uh, they're calling this Mystic Blue uh, Titanium Handles, which I think is just absolutely uh, beautiful. Now, uh, this knife is acid wash Mystic, Mystic Blue Handles, uh, uh, black PVD hardware, the clip black specs, placer, and studs. It's now okay. So this is not the exact because that is not true. The screws on this one, yeah, the screws are black PVD. I'm sorry, but the uh, but the uh, backspacer and uh, the clip are um, special. Okay, so I see what it is. It's a kit. It's a dark tie kit. Okay, so that's what this is. Is dark tie. Okay, so very very cool. Um, that is awesome. Now the knife itself. These run uh, $300, but they are sold out. There were several variations. I do not know if they will be back or not. Boulder M390 steel, grade 5 titanium handles, uh, Universal Torx T8 hardware, captured pivot, lock bar access. Uh, by the way, we didn't talk about that. Decent lock bar access. You can see there you don't have a pass-through, but you do have good... Uh, milling there to get in. I don't, the bar moves so easily, I do not have a problem with it. Do I wish there was a little bit of a pass through here? Sure. Uh, is it a big deal on this one? No, it's, it's, it's not for me. Do, but again, I do wish more people would provide more ample pass through space, but I get it. I mean, they're trying to protect a hand grip here and a look. I get it. But, um, you know, this one moves, whoops, this one moves fairly easily, but I wish it had a little bit better is what I would say. Um, all right, and I just clanged it there, which was great. Uh, overall length 7.73, blade length 3.3. Uh, the uh, handle thickness is 0.49, and the weight is 3.8. So all of those, to me, are really, really nice, and I love these accents. Now, the accents look like they were selling for 180 so this gets pretty expensive uh, when you swap this stuff out uh, but man it's just worth it it is absolutely beautiful so let's do our comparisons and wrap this baby up in a package there is your Ontario rat one by the way 
we need to do another video talking about my sentimentality on the Rat 1 and the Rat 2 now that uh, Ontario is closing down. We're going to have a conversation about that, and they will remain for some time as my comparison knives. So you can see the Rat 1 is quite bigger. The Rat 2 is about the same length, maybe a little shorter. Very cool. So that is uh, the Null Knives Raiden. Guys, be paying attention to Null Knives. Uh, I know this one's not available. Maybe you can look at NAF sale or on the secondary somewhere else. And no, I'm not an affiliate with NAF sale, so I don't have a code or anything. But feel free to check over there and see if you can find one. Uh, this thing is just absolutely stunning. Thank you, Andrew. Guys, let me know what you think down below. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, do all the things like comment, subscribe, notification bell, and share if you can. And thank you so much, guys for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.